welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm here to take you around our Chrysler Grand Voyager. Now as you've seen from inquiring on the car, this car re represents exceptional value. The value for money here with every feature you get is just amazing. I'm going to run you through how the interior works which is simply the best family movie you can buy. Up the front, typical, very iconic Chrysler grille here. Brilliant condition paintwork, no signs of uh, dents or nicks or anything on the front. Front bar presents really well, couple of very minor touch-ups. But for a 2008 model vehicle, exceptional condition at the front. On the front headlights, as you can see, it's first thing in the morning, it's a little bit foggy. Do have HID low beams on this car, making night driving really, really good. Coming along the front guard, got two minor little marks just there on the guard. Moving on to the wheels, a little bit of a, a common thing with some of the Chryslers, they do get this sort of a, a weird pattern happening in the clear coat of the wheels, but a nice looking wheel nonetheless. Really, really good tire tread. They're massive amount of tread on the front, continental tires on the front of this vehicle. Coming down the side now, one thing you notice, chrome everywhere. Americans know how to lay chrome on a car to give it a good look. We do have tinted windows all the way around, nice and dark tint. Gonna get my cameraman to have a look at the roof does have front sunroof on this vehicle as well as roof rails with crossbars which you can adjust to where you need them to be. Now what we'll do is usually we do exterior but it's a bit hard to show this when we do the interior. Electric side doors, everything is electric on this vehicle. Open the side doors up and have a look inside. Actually you know what, something different, I'm going to climb inside. Alright, heaps of room to move around on the inside here. So first things to notice, as you can see I can walk in, there is normally a seat here. Now the stow and go system in these vehicles is so good you can actually turn it into a van. These seats here can go away, you can fold the front seats into the floor so there's a whole seat hiding underneath my feet there. Now the good advantage is if you don't have the seat in the floor, you've got the seat up here, we all know how many things kids have, bears, colouring books, all of that stuff, you have two giant front little compartments here to hide all of those many things as well as all the air conditioning controls, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I'm gonna get out of the car now and continue on the exterior of the vehicle. Um, simple to shut the tailgate, kids can do it easily. Push the button there and it will obviously slide away. You can lock that away, so obviously the kids can't push the button while you're sitting in a set of traffic lights because that would be really entertaining. Going along the, the side of the vehicle, no signs of dents, nick scratches, trolley marks, nothing presents brilliantly. The rear of the car, We've got really good Continental tyres at the back, exceptional tread depth there, they must be very close to new, and a really good wheel here with no signs of gutter rash or anything like that. Um, coming to the rear of the Chrysler Grand Voyager now, a little bit to talk about. We do have a tow bar fitted to this vehicle as well as reversing sensors and a reversing camera which I'll get into when we're inside the vehicle. Big rear wiper making driving in the morning nice and easy. Quickly just open the tailgate. Is electric, but I've just turned that off to lift it up normally. You can lift the tailgate up nice and easy. Here's where the things in this car get even better. So they really thought about this. Someone who designed this car had kids, hadn't just read about them in the book, was really, really uh, actually a good person. We've got little things like you've got a little torch here. You can pop that out and shine it around at night time if you need to find things. You've got the rear blinds. They're a little hard to get to in from here, but you've got the rear blinds for the kids. If you've got little ones in the back and you don't want them to get um, attacked by the sun as much, you've got the blinds. And that's on all four rear doors. You've got the two sliding ones and the rear windows there. Nice leather seats, we all know kids can make a mess. Leather, easy, wipe it up, you're done. Across the back here, as you can see when the seats are up, most seven seat cars, say a Territory or Captiva, the glass is about here from the seat and the boot's sort of a triangle where you might fit a tiny dog that doesn't see the light of day. Um, with this car, Massive amounts of room. You can get in there. I'm not going to do that, but you can easily fit in there. Heaps and heaps of room. But check this out. You can select this. I'm going to select both seats. You've got a little command center here. So there's one here, which is a great fun one, which will lean the person. If you've got someone to sleep in here, you can actually lean the seat back and they sort of roll out out here. That's fun to have a prank with. But more practically, you can actually go stow and the seats will fold up. It does take a little bit of time. But um, really, really simple. You don't have to um, mess about with it. There's no backache. There's no playing around. It really, really simply just uh, 
loads itself in. Now I've just folded the right one and I've lowered this one just to make it easy for you to see how it works. So I probably should have done it the other way, but as you can see, you've got, um, you can turn the car into a van. So if you go to Ikea, you can fill this with a whole kitchen or a lounge room or whatever you want. Massive, massive amount of space here on, on this vehicle as well, which is a nice thing to see. So we'll um, shut the tailgate, which is just a push of a button away. It lowers down, nice and easy. And quite quietly as well, which is a nice little feature. And um, by the time you're in the car, it's locked away, it's pulled itself shut, you drive away. You can actually open all the doors from in the driver's seat, be the quickest school pickup you've ever done. Coming around to the passenger side of this vehicle, this is quite commonly where you see um, damage due to that horrible thing we call a gutter and parking next to other people and things like that. Not a single shopping trolley dent, nick, scratch, anything along the side of this vehicle. Rear wheel presents really well. We've got a really good condition uh, Continental tyre on the back as well, so nice to see that. Coming down the side of the vehicle, as I mentioned, there's no signs of dents, nick, scratches, anything like that. Quite a long car. Up to the front wheel. No gutter ash on this wheel at all. Brilliant condition Continental tyre yet again for this car. So the whole way around the exterior of this car, really, really good condition for its age. Quite, quite impressed. And like magic, we're here at the front of the car. I've already cheated a little bit by opening the bonnet. Now one thing to notice, quality, quality, quality. Sand ending on the firewall, the bonnet, everywhere to make this car really nice to drive. And the other thing that makes this car really nice to drive is this engine. You're looking at a 3.8 litre V6. It's gonna give you 142 kilowatts of power, 305 newton meters of torque, through a six speed automatic transmission out of this big, big family van, you're going to get 12.3 litres to the 100. Out of a 75 litre tank, you're going to get in excess of 600 kilometres of average driving range. Before we go, I always forget to mention this at the back, the car is rated to tow 1.6 tonne as well. All right, inside the Grand Voyager now, and really, really comfortable place to be. Actually shares a lot of parts with its other cars, like the 300C in here as well, so quite a familiar place for myself. Um, Black leather steering wheel on this car, really nice to use, really quite easy to use as well. We've got our navigation controls, little menu controls and, and buttons there to control everything. Cruise control stalk, very similar to the Toyota, on, off, up, down, simple as. On the left side, you do get a one stalk, it does everything. You've got your um, high beam switch there, you've got your indicator switches there, and then you twist it for your wipers. Wipers are automatic, you just set them sort of how aggressive you want it to be. So it light mist they, how quick they go, which is nice. And of course you've got your rear wiper in the middle there as well. You will notice we do have two factory keys for this car, quite an important thing to have. Up and into the centre now, nicely laid out, sort of a, an off-white dashboard there, really looks quite nice. To get mile an hour and kilometre an hour there as well. Um, currently showing compass 6 degrees Celsius as well, which is nice. And 115,000 kilometres only on this vehicle for the year, that's really good. Turn the steering wheel this way, over here, headlight switch. So you've got um, off, obviously, and you've got on there. And then if you push it, you've got front fog light. And then if you hold it, you have the, um, the rear fog light as well if you're driving in the snow. Wouldn't recommend using that on the Monash though. Um, dash brightness control there as well. If you click it all the way up, all the lights in the car turn on as well. So if you're wondering why all the lights are on when you're driving it, try knocking that down one notch. Over here, power window button, sorry, power uh, mirrors here. Really big mirrors on this car. One thing I want to mention, quite commonly uh, in these videos, people hear me talk about the centre mirror on these cars not having a flick anymore. They've got the little button there. When someone really with bright headlights behind you is there, they dim down automatically. Now come over here. This is one of the really rare cars. The side mirrors do that as well. Have you ever driven down the freeway doing this because someone's got bright headlights? No more. That will dim down for you. It's the little features in this car that really help you live with it. So you've got the controls there for the mirror, of course. You've got a lot of controls here for the windows. Now, obviously on this car, four-door power windows for the big windows on the side. Door lock here as well. A little button here, which you can actually open the third row window as well, or close them, which is quite nice. So that's the one way at the back. And then you've got your power seat here. So you can adjust for, obviously, two people can have different seating positions, which is nice. Um, cup holders, heaps of storage down there as well, which you can't see. A nice light wood grain trim in the front as well across and into the centre. Or actually, probably we should go up, shouldn't we? There's a lot to talk about in this car. Going up to the top, we've talked about the mirror. Up here, we've got the little lights. You can adjust them where you need them to be, which is quite nice and very directional. 
um, and then these buttons here you can control you can open the side tailgate so um, my cameraman's on the left side or should we do the we'll do the right side my side so it's a bit opposite this is American school not our school you go hey we're at school pickup I don't want to really get out of the car come on kids jump on in how easy is that kids can just jump on in the car there and then um, close it again nice and easy no effort required at all how cool is that so as i mentioned quickest school pick up and drop off you'll ever do you've got a little mirror here if you want to relive those bus days you can actually look and see what the kids are doing in the back quite nifty that one as well as the buttons here for the sunroof i won't open it now because the camera just freaks out from all the brightness but um really nice sunroof to have going back even further now now you've got the dvd player you've got one here but my camera's going to turn and guess what You've got another one back there as well. So you can have, I don't know, the older kids are gonna be sitting up the front. Maybe you could have Discovery Channel or something up here, a DVD. And at the back, you can have SpongeBob or something for the rear seat passengers back there. You do have air conditioning controls as well up the top there, which is nice to see. Um, coming back to the front and into the center, navigation now this is our tv screen for us at the front not really tv but navigation anyway want to see where we're going click map loads up nice and easy bit zoomed out but currently showing we're at 20-32 kangan drive here in berwick ideally located right next to the berwick train station and that's the monash so it's like a, literally a one minute drive from here really easy destination to get to coming down we've got the nice clock um Chrysler's are known for that, quite nice looking to have actually an analog clock, two big uh, air vents, a button to test all the indicators at once, ESP, you can turn the traction control off, but in this minivan probably wouldn't be recommending doing that. Coming down, tri-zone cooling, so driver, passenger and rear as well, so everyone can be as comfortable as they want, no one in the back suffering with no air conditioning, like a lot of seven seats don't have air conditioning in the back, so nice to have that. Um, before we move on, one of my favourite options in a seat, if you've got a bit of a bad back or it's a cold morning, turn the heated seat on, that one's really nice, so you set it on two for the start, set it on one to drive to work, and um, turn it off if it's, uh, say, summer, I suppose. Down here, we've got our little DVD insert here as well for obviously the DVD players back there. Two 12 volt sockets, a bin there for perhaps your phone while you're charging it, massive amount of space down there. Handbrake, of course, which is in the normal spot. And then, obviously, our shifter. I'll pop in brake on. You go through into reverse. You will notice the reversing camera there. If you fit the tow bar to the vehicle, easiest thing in the world to line the trailer up. Into, into D. D is the second bottom spot. Drive is normal. Go down to the bottom one, and then you've got your manual, which is left and right, if you're feeling um, like Schumacher. Got a cup holder there as well. And then we lean off into the back. Now, my camera is... Doesn't, usually I talk about the seat quality, but they all present the same as the one he's sitting on. 90% of the seat is leather, has a little bit of um, micro suede at the top, just to give you um, a bit of comfort as well. And you'll see just how much space is back there, but you can fold all the seats up nice and easily as well. Going into the service books, just open up the book here and let's have a little bit of a look, see, shall we? That's navigation, that's not the book you want. This is probably the book I want. Quite a nice little uh, leather wrap Chrysler uh, book there, I might say. Into the service books for this vehicle. Originally owned by a family, which is nice. Um, coming down, ooh, hello. Lots of stamps, that's what we want. Obviously we've got the, um, they sort of, a bit hard to read these ones, how are we? We've got the two, 15, um, 30, and these 40, uh, 70, 85, 27, um, 114, which is one we've just done, and 101. So they're a little scattered around, but they are all, they do seem to all be there, which is a good thing as well. I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but um, we have uh, heated seats on the second row as well. So the people in the second row can enjoy those um, nice heated seats in the morning as well. What I'll do is I'll get my camera and quickly grab that visor that's on the door as well, just to show you that on the second row we have that as well. So nice and easy, quite good and comfortable for everyone in the car as well. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2008 Chrysler Grand Voyager Limited. As you've seen, exceptional condition on the outside, exceptional condition inside, full service history for a 2008 model vehicle. This is so impressive. If you want a car that's got literally everything that can open and shut off the push of a button, this is the car for you. There we go, the last one didn't work. I didn't hit it enough. So do come down and say us. Call us first, 9907 0555, and thank you for watching.